Yeah, I was good people. Um, I hope you had a good New Year's Eve um, and a good Christmas. Um, and now we're back. Um, and then basically the past 20 odd days, I've just been sort of updating the CRT machine and I've been making a few other changes. We've also got a new VHS product coming out, an opium product coming out, which is sort of the opium graphic design uh, video type uh, glitchy sort of effect. We've got a dither pattern effect coming out. We've um, just released the Chrome tool, which I'll show you in another tutorial. Um, but yeah, lots of updates. Um, but let's crack into this one. Uh, CRT machines now on version four. Um, and we've done big, big changes just to give it that sort of realism and realistic effect um, that we all know and love. Um, so I'm just going to show you the Squid Games intro and drag our new CRT machine on and instantly. Look, I mean, it's very, very realistic, very true to life, and that looks amazing. I mean, it really does. Um, you've got the scan line effect. If you come to our colors, you change the colors the grain power, the image size, we've got the distortion going on which you can also change. A lot is uh, the same from version 3 but more refined, more updated and a few things I've taken away just because they were unnecessary or they didn't um, impact the overall feel um, in version 3. Um, so yeah, a lot of these things are very similar, the speckle amount, the shine threshold, you can sort of adjust spread the ins and outs if you want to make it really sort of contrasty grungy um, that's cool as well uh, and yeah really good I mean this really works well on motion graphics uh, title intros and stuff like that um, or you can use other footage um, if you come over here with this Nickelodeon uh, not Nickelodeon Nintendo animation drag it on again and look at that. Let's just extend it a little bit so we can see the ending. That yeah, looks really cool. And the way I've set it up is uh, somewhere in between, so not too uh, contrasty, not too bright, but then not too, um, you know, the opposite essentially. Uh, so you get a nice in-between and then you can sort of come into your colors and adjust saturation. I know CRT is very desaturated a lot of the time, but um, I've kept that in the middle. Contrast, uh, again, all of that stuff that you would usually expect to be able to change is there. Um, now this is our Nova Chrome. This is our, uh, our Chrome pack, which you can import logos into. Um, and we've also got a, I think 14 different styles um, so go check that out on bluetooth.com but I just want to show you what it looks like on uh, using it on your own footage or say uh, another pack of ours or a title intro whatever it may be so we're going to add this onto here look at that that's really cool so there's very little um, you have to change straight off I mean there's going to be varying and different scenarios but Think, think yeah and you can change the I mean if you don't want it the distortion and you want to bring this back to zero and have it flat not like that one sec just get that correct like that and then you can sort of bring this back and have that flat image you can also now change the pixel size um, actually no we had that in the last one you can change the pixel aspect so you can start to see the pixels stretch so uh, with the CRT there's either the long pixel CRTs or the hexagonal shapes or the dots you can kind of shape and mold those now um, with these three tools depending on what you want I mean this is obviously pushed quite far right here so we bring this back now we've got these sort of diagonal hex, um, hexagons. And when we zoom in, you can really see the, the blue, the green, the red, and sort of the CRTs and how it mixes with the background color to push through the brightnesses and sort of then holds the shadows with the greens and the uh, blues. Oh, the blues and the reds, sorry. And so we want to change this. We can just bring this down. We can change the angle. 
just reset these. Yeah, so lots you can do and lots to experiment with. If you upgrade, um, if you push the grain power up as well, you start to get the colored pixels in between. Um, that can look quite cool in music videos, I think, if you really sort of make that grungy CRT old sort of feeling. Um, yeah, and then there's this other thing um, where you can sort of use GIFs or older footage. Um, so this is like this GIF I've just found. Um, and then we put the CRT on. Yeah, sometimes if you put it into say a 4x3 or even like a 9x16 um, timeline and bring it back to 1920 or a 4k timeline it stretches it and you get this nice distortion um, and I recommend using this in the 1920 by 1080 uh, timeline and then if you're using a 4k or have other 4k timeline that's going on and you need to re-import it into that just render it out because it it's that it's more realistic it's more um, sort of grainy more stretch and has that more sort of faded look whereas if you go 4k it becomes quite digital but once again um, your preference is as good as mine so do as you wish with it thanks guys i hope you enjoyed this um and i'm going to be coming out with some tutorials soon on how to do some other things and some cool things on davinci i think the more uh, updates we get for davinci the better it's getting and sort of the more effects that are coming out and it's uh you know we're really starting to see its full full potential for say music videos and other stuff like that whereas maybe before it kind of lacked a few different effects but Yep, it's coming along and very exciting. But anyway, take it easy um, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.